hello guys hello 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 welcome back you guys welcome back to this video and if you're a new viewer thank you so much for visiting this channel you're highly welcome and if you're a usual viewer thank you so much for visiting back to see what i've got for you today so guys this winter is coming on like coming on hard it's already getting cold everything is going on and i'm like i was still going to be doing all these uh hairstyles winter starts off um november right and this is autumn and it's already feels like winter because it's cold it's really chilly outside level up right so first of all before we get into wearing different things are like wigs we really need to get our cornrows done you know so this is how i simply get my cornrows done you might just lose your hair and your hair is all bushy just all over the place you can't even see your face right because the hair is really covering everywhere all these people that have umbrella hair afro umbrella hair my own it has not really gotten to that point but it's getting there but you can see so just go ahead and divide the hair that's how i part it into two so it's not all over the place then you calmly start cutting it small small you get and then um your clip is very much needed at this point as you just divide the very first part you can easily use the clip to clip it down because those people's hair that used to sleep you know before you turn it before you even divide the hair has already slept over the other you know everything is just mixing as if you're mixing cake like <laughs> okay, so guys um go ahead to divide the hair pat it calmly okay and then have your clip by your right hand or left if you are right or left anyone just go ahead to clip it down and then i decided to use this uh this um shine and jam because i'm still kind of flexing the gel because i like i told you guys my last video was actually the first time i ever used that gel and if you are yet to watch the video please go ahead and watch it and also try it out i'm sure you can be able to i'm sure you'll be able to do something better go ahead to do it okay it's fun trying to do your hair yourself just try it really don't just watch try it okay so i go ahead so um, i actually decided decided to um put on some gel you know feeling my shine and jam all this all this that we're using that gel anytime they're just braiding hair and everything just say i use my gel to just slid it down like what's already done this before okay now i'm using this gel let me just feel it too right so but i didn't use it all over my hair because i'm still so i didn't want to use it all over my hair because i'm still washing because i don't want all this washing hair and then getting hair flakes and everything even though the hair i noticed that the gel doesn't flake the hair actually but i just said to use it just for the front okay so i went ahead to kind of bring the hair together slip them together marry them together and then divide and cut out a little bit just like i did in front if you are ready to do this hair so you're able to divide you know how you just divide so if you, especially if you're a family of three when your parents just give you something to share and you divide it into three that's how you go ahead to divide this hair into three equal parts okay and then you start taking it gently and slowly to just marry them oh my this marriage thing what's going on on this channel with marriage okay i'm sure a viewer is about to get married and please don't fail to send me your invitation card okay so we'll come as a youtube family if you're yes put a please on the comment section okay so um um cutting your back is quite tricky so you have to really be careful okay because our back hair our um hairline our neckline okay is small because you know your forehead is kind of wider than your neck you see so you have to cut with wisdom mm -hmm. so yeah, first that's why we went ahead to cut the hair into two so they'll be able to do a nice division just like we did when we we're dividing in secondary school no, even still now even till now i still dividing so you have to just divide gently take much hair from the front but when you're getting to the back you need to reduce your hand so you don't grip up and pack everything you know don't be greedy in this place we share generously okay so you have to share the hair part it into different parts. everybody so everybody from the front can also get some hair behind okay so just go ahead and divide it and clip it and then just like i told you guys earlier i have to take it uh three legs okay and then you're just taking it down calmly and slowly will your hand ache you oh yes it will ache you my hand is actually aching me but at the same time i was having fun because i was looking at myself at the mirror and i could see that this guy is turning pretty you know and <laughs> i don't know what is going on guys so but then just go ahead and try this hair honestly i think you do really great and better than um you ever thought you could do okay so um just like i told you guys the back i really shed it evenly so that i don't have some hair hanging out with friends okay 
so yeah that's it for that i already got three done before i actually got this hair done the truth is that the first time i ever tried to do my hair to do this cornrows i was actually having problem cutting the hair cutting it through because before i cut my hair okay if you have not even watched the video where i did my hair cut please go ahead and watch it and um share your comments and your views okay on that video and then um i think i'll start linking my videos on my description box okay i don't do that but i think i'll start doing that okay so um when i tried cutting my hair and uh, um, initially early time when i decided to make my hair myself it's really frustrating because when you cut from the front that you can see when i'm getting to the back i don't even know where the comb just tends to go i'm like can't you just move straight all the way down but no it just tends to go boom like when you're trying to draw a triangle it just enters deep into the i'm like why are you cutting where i did not send you to cut right so but that's why we parted or i parted this hair to actually so i don't divide so i can be generous okay in dividing the hair so um so then i'll actually cut my hair the hair the one will be going to onisha one will be going to lincoln some will be going to uk one will be going to canada one will be going to russia mm -hmm they were all traveling apart but at the end of the day i'll end up doing why you know when you do why it's like when one hair is already hanging out with friends then it does not have space to sit down at the back i'll now make another make another and then join them together that will not turn into a style right because any mistake in art is design and hair is also an act okay so you end up making why but if you try this your for your first time i am why as as a letter on your hair just flex it as a style okay because sometimes like i said earlier you just tend to um do this thing you just tend to cut unevenly because you're not really seeing especially if you don't have a mirror behind you right here i was actually using one okay i was using two mirrors but they were actually beside and in front so it wasn't behind i couldn't even like i can't see the back I couldn't see my back okay but i was still trying to cut it as much as i could and then um using the mirror so but if you happen to have a mirror that you can stay in front they can have a mirror showing your back that would be a perfect thing because you do a nice and clean cotton but if you don't have such mirror my dear go ahead and do your why okay like i told you guys earlier i was cutting why i used to cut why but at a point at this point that you guys are seeing this i'm not cutting why again <laughs> it's nice it's interesting okay and then um because i had to do this hair to be able to flex my wig really good and fine and without it having um gallops so guys let me quickly just you guys one just let me throw in one just for you guys in the, there was something that happened while i was in secondary school concerning this making of hair thing right because we're already seniors so we had juniors my friend always call her school daughter and then bring her you know you can actually command right vivi london okay so she would actually call her school daughter and then she would not be using her hair to practice and everything so i would actually come and do one or two but she then she was not able to make home rules and stuff and then um all of a sudden i don't know would actually play around with um, makeup kids and um, trying to play with makeup because some people could do makeup and some people could do hair you know different trade and everything so then we actually try to do makeup and stuff um, we used to draw rubbish arc draw nonsense draw now now she's a makeup artist like pro hmm and then me each time i get home i will i would always try to make my mommy's hair and sometimes she actually should actually let me to just play around with her hair and then i would actually just try to do one or two things but yeah i don't even know what i used to do then whenever my sister is sleeping i just used to walk around the house whenever my children <laughs> children whenever my siblings are sleeping or something i would actually try to play around with their hair just be doing something do something do something with their hair and then all of a sudden i said doing it on my own hair small small and i'll do one or two things on it and then and then it's just it's just it's just it's just i'll just do one or two things and then it will never come out i don't even know what i used to do honestly it doesn't you know when you mat hair as i'm done it's mat and joint eh Hey, hey, i can't even explain it but that's how it is but now i'm telling you she's a pro in her makeup and now i'm doing hair and then it's so nice that you never know what will turn out and how it's actually turned out and there are a lot of people because there are a lot of people doing other things right like i told you guys the makeup the um the makeup the braids uh, the hair there's this girl she was studying she was in science class she could make up she could braid hair she could then shaping eyebrows was pro like everybody would just line up like this for shaping brows like for the girl oh yeah come on shape my own shape my own shape my own shape my own 
and we all just carry rays and be shipping, 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 shipping. So all those things. So if you're even a secondary school girl, I don't know, and you're watching this video, like really use that opportunity. You're not in boarding school. So just be playing around with one or two things because you don't even know if tomorrow because I never knew I would actually get going to get to hair in any way, any manner, right? So maybe one one or two. Even if you're in secondary in uh uni, but I'm just telling you where I start playing around with, right? Even if you're in uni and you start playing around with one or two things, I think with time you you actually just start getting fit in, in the box, okay? And then uh, as I was telling you guys that that my friend now is a pro in makeup artist, as I said, I had this other girl that will actually line up, would actually line up, and then she'll be doing makeup for us, doing um shaping our brows, um braiding our hair, and all different things. As in, there was this other girl that I gave my hair because it's all about practice. Give this person your hair, give this person your hair. But as seniors, we actually call genius, especially your school daughters, and just do something on their hair. But it was this girl that had to do thread for me, right? I asked her to do thread, to thread my hair. Hmm. That girl almost threaded my brain. I'm t- that hair, eh? She tied it and tied it and tied it again and again. If you're in Nigeria, you know that rubber thread, that one that used to draw, that if you straight it, it will just straighten down like this. That was what this girl used to, dr- to thread my hair. I could not even sleep with that hair. You know, but I was carrying my head in the A. In the A in the a like i could not bring my head down to my neck it was so painful and i could not sleep and i'm like wait 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 wait, wait a minute she be this hair is it's not permanent like it's something temporary i can actually just take it off i took that hair off so sometimes you get people that will actually tie your brain and then the first hair i made i don't know if you guys know this hair they call two step because I was cutting my hair all the while in secondary school. I just started leaving hair out around um, SS1 um, or SS2. No, 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 SS3. I don't remember. SS3, SS1. See, just around that senior class period, okay? That was when I started leaving my hair. And I remember telling my sister to just do my hair because I used to carry afro. Because I didn't like cutting hair. I feel like I look like a guy. So I didn't like cutting any hair that is past, like almost getting to skin. So, but I used to leave Afro on and everything. I used to like, uh, look beautiful and everything. Each time I go to cut my hair, I'll just tell the barber, see, don't even cut this hair, like down, 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 leave the hair for me. And then I come, I'm like, who cut this hair for you? What is this? They should cut it. You know, this kind of thing. But at that period, I left my hair on as per senior, right? And then my sister just started to help me to braid the hair. Then the hair was not long enough to really get to the back. You know, those kind of hair that used to hang in the middle. <laughs> the hair was hanging. So because it was hanging, I didn't have lots of hair at my back. So she now decided to do two step. And if you do two step in secondary school that time, they will laugh at you like as if I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. I remember entering the hostel that day. As I entered the hostel, my class is there ra- laughing, not running, laughing. If I did two steps, because it's it's something really funny that ah she made two step, two steps, two steps was just something they joke around with. Like but I, I carried the hair for the time because I wouldn't waste my sister's effort because some people decided to laugh and I'm gonna lose the hair. But I think I carried the hair for some time and then another friend decided to braid it for me and then for some reason my hair stretched out and she. So please, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Please share this video. Give it a like, right? Get a notification when I upload a new video. And try to get your hair done yourself too, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on my very next one. Bye.